Why did this man go all day yesterday? Not one text, not one phone call, mute, right? He said nothing. Then I get in the car. I'm on my way to work. I check my phone. He wrote me, good morning. Good morning? More like good night. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why men go MIA. They disappear for hours, sometimes a whole day, 24 hours. And then they just reappear like, hello. Like this is some sort of Disney fairy tale princess movie. Did you make a phone call? Or was you sitting around expecting him to call you? And secondly, the character you are portraying right now, you sound like you might be annoying. I would need to take 24 hours to decompress too. Why do women friend zone guys who would make them wives for guys who made them single moms? I, I feel like sometimes it's just really like the guys that'll make you a wife, women, they don't want to like change who they are. So they say they want to be a wife, but they're not ready to really play the wife role or whatever. So I, I feel like that's really what it was. I feel like some women do what know what they want with the wrong men, if that makes sense. Mm. Because a lot of y'all want uh, babies, cars, houses, with the guy that just doesn't want that. Like, if, if he says no, it's no. I was going to say to some women, the thought of being in a committed relationship with the right guy sounds boring. It's a lot of women out here that aren't in relationships right now because it's boring. They have a handsome guy with a good head on his shoulders, a good job treats her like the perfect woman. But well, he's boring. And they'll leave. Then they'll drop videos like, he was the perfect husband. But I realized that he just wasn't my person. Ladies, never leave room for a man to flirt with you when you have a man. Hi, bye, that's it. What more do you need to say to a man? Because you cannot be friends with a man while you have a man, okay? If you met that man after your relationship, that could never be a friend. Mm. So, yeah, I think she's 100% right. You can't leave room for a man to get in close to you because he will. So she's 100% right. Let me know how y'all feel, though. Bro, I'm not going to lie. The emoji face caught me off guard. But, yeah, she's talking facts. These dudes are only trying to plant seeds. It might sound crazy. If a man approach you and his initial reason for approaching you was because he found you attractive, I don't see how that could be a genuine friendship. So he's just automatically going to turn that attraction off because now y'all are friends? It is true. Now you mad because you caught up. Big sick. Big sick. She's sick. She's sick. You got this nigga in this house right now. I told you. I told you he told was me coming, what? He was coming home. And I, 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 you I never said anything. I said one thing, but you catch your girl cheating and you recording. What is the point of that? You trying to go viral off of your misery? That sh does not make you look good. Y'all seen the video I dropped last week? Man's walked in on his wife cheating and got knocked out. We still trying to figure out if that video is real. I mean, now the truth is he's coming home. So why didn't you just be honest with her? See, this is sh I be talking about out here. There's women out here. Grown women. Grown. Who talk most? So why would you do some stuff like that? I paid the bills here and you got another in this house? He came home. I don't know what else to do. What was all that? She was talking about building and growing and all that. And I really planned on doing that. Plan on doing what? He planned on lying? No, he came out of jail. I've been taking care of his child. He has, look, he has nowhere to stay. I don't know. I don't give a f about him. I don't care about that. You I, I, so why did you even deal with me in the first place? I really wanted it to work. You I crazy. Like, no, no, you crazy. Uh, what? So, basically, she found somebody else to pay the bills mm. while her guy was locked up. Where they do that at? Hey, look, look, uh, I'm not trying to hit none of that. I, look, I I've been taking care of They do that. I know a situation going on right now where we suspect that's what Shorty is doing. Her man locked up. She got my man footing the bills, taking care of her, taking care of the kids. Her man finna get out pretty soon, so we gonna see what's going on. To live since she was three. Since she was three. This ain't this for you. I pay all the bills here. Well, he's home now. He said he gonna get a job and everything. I don't give a f about that job. Bro, what is you talking about? Like, it's nothing that I really, right what you, now. tell him come outside. Look, for what? For what? No, bro, for what? Go home. I don't even want to be It is true. Now you mad because you caught up. Big sick. Big sick. She's sick. She's sick. You got this in this house. 
What he coming outside for? I know you hurt, but come on, son. Sometimes we could just give advice without actually being in the situation because, to be quite honest, I don't even know what I would do in that particular situation. I know what I would want to do. I know what I should do, but I don't know what I would do. I, yeah, I don't know what the f what possessed me to buy patent leather plated suit to wear to the pool. Golly, man, I up there, the sun beaming down, the sun hit on my smell like fried cactus. <laughs> No good idea. <laughs> 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 oh shit. She said it smell like fried catfish, bro. Oh my god. Her Vietnamese accent is crazy, but I do feel as though she's like American. She probably have Vietnamese family, but I do think she has like a, a her real accent is an American accent. Like I could hear it at certain points, but this is freaking hilarious. Listen, I'm gonna keep saying it. I know it's about twenty five thousand of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at hundred k, man. We almost at hundred k. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. Pretty beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Those are not your average bees. That hive was made of flesh. Meet the vulture bee. It's a stingless bee that's found in South America. And like most bees, they build beehives and make honey. The only difference is their honey is not made from nectar because they're not vegetarian. They feed primarily on the flesh of dead animals, which makes... Y'all know every episode I gotta give some white folks. Yeah, let's 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 go ahead. Cause my black ass ain't never heard of this. It's them the only non-vegetarian bee in the world. And as a whole colony, they can eat a lot of decayed meat. They've left animals completely skeleton once they're done with them. <laughs> they're basically flying piranhas. But what's crazy is since bees need to throw up to make their honey or their beehive, it's made out of meat. It's actually called meat honey. I didn't think there was a food that I never want to try so bad. Oh, and these bees are extremely aggressive. They're stingless, but as we now know, they can bite through meat. So yes, they will swarm you, bite you, and turn you into honey. Moral of the story, if you ever see a beehive that looks like this, trust me, you don't want that honey. That sound like a flying zombie. That sounds like a flying zombie. Why have they not made a horror movie out of this? Flesh honey. <sighs> wow. Yeah, my black guys definitely ain't never heard of that. My favorite thing about my husband is that he is the complete opposite of me. So I mm. need him to be who he is because I'm going to be me. Mm. Me and my husband are partners. And when I say we're partners, I mean we partners. We do it all together. What is your, if you don't mind me asking, financial dynamic? We both work full time. So we, you know, take care of our kids during school. Um, when it comes to bills and paying bills, we get that done. If that means, you know, I might have to go a little 70 one time and he got to go 30, then that's what it is. But it's going to get done. Boy. My boy, my boy, I hope you're over there swimming with your eyes closed. I'm talking to her husband. A lot of people nowadays, you know, are, he's supposed to pay all my bills. You know, I'm a woman. I'm supposed to be at home. But, I mean, society is different now. Mm. I can't sit home. What about the expectation of men paying I can't 100% sit home. do you feel like is unrealistic? I don't feel like it's unrealistic because there are people who can do it. I would never expect from someone else what I can what I can't do. I can't pay all my bills right now. So why would I expect him to pay all of our bills when I know I can't? What's something that you really, really love about your husband? Like if he was here right now, what would you tell him? I would tell him that I appreciate him. He could come to me with a lot, but he chooses not to because he would rather carry that weight himself. I really appreciate my husband. Look, there go my husband. No way! He's in real dad mode, got a kid on the dad. 
was what I was talking about, how I appreciate and I love him. He allows me to be me. Hi! Hi. You love your family? Yeah. This is my yeah. family. And baby, I love you and I appreciate you. My love. I love you too, and I appreciate you too. <laughs> I'm glad we got a positive video today, bro. Some of these negative videos be depressing. This is what you want. This is what you want out of a wife. This is what you want out of a husband. She understand how hard it is out here, and she's not even delusional. Like, she really said, I can't pay all my bills. Why would I expect you to pay all my bills? I just filed a police report on these two guys right here. They were standing right outside of the Target at the Tustin District, claiming they were selling chocolates, for their Christian Community College. That's what it was called, which looking back on it now, seems like a total scam. They told me they took Apple Pay, so I was like, okay, cool. So I had my Apple Pay out, ready to go, and this guy with the black sweater literally just tapped his phone onto my phone without showing me the amount he was charging me or anything. Just tap. And I was like, can I get a receipt? And at that moment, I got a notification from Apple about the charge. And he immediately starts apologizing. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I overcharged you. Like, let me refund this. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, okay, how um, much did you overcharge me? Go and click on the notif notification. He charged me $975 when it was supposed to be $10. I bought five chocolates for $10 and he charged me $975. Time out, bro. Um... Since when they start asking for Apple Pay, that's an immediate red flag. In the hood, they be trying to get a dollar, dollar fifty, five dollars, anything they can get. Cash. Nah, you walked into that. <laughs> you walked into that. Went ahead and tapped his phone on my phone, basically stealing it right out of my digital wallet. And told me he was going to refund me. At this point, I still wanted to believe him because he was just like, he seemed very apologetic and I was very naive and I had had a very long day and I didn't want to have to deal with this right now. I just wanted to go home. I don't want to get cops involved here and like get these guys arrested or anything like that wasn't my goal. I just wanted my money back. So they're like, okay, your refund's been initiated. It'll be back in your account in three to four days. In three to four days. I hit up Apple Pay, tell them what happened. And I'm like, they said they initiated a refund, but I want you to keep an eye on it just in case I want to dispute this. So they kind of made it sound like it was taken care of. And I'm like, it's Apple. It's Apple, right? It's a credit card. They should, I should be protected. My money should be protected. I trust, I trust. The response they gave her sound professional as hell. This is not their first rodeo. Did Apple. So obviously these guys did not actually give me a refund. And now Apple is saying that they don't have enough evidence to show that I wasn't trying to pay them $975. These random guys standing outside of Target. I feel like any other credit card company would have taken care of this. So I'm super annoyed and I feel very taken advantage of. So if anybody has any more information on them, like their names or anything of that sort, please let me know. I did give all the cops all the info I had, as well as their picture. Please yeah. share this, spread awareness of these guys selling chocolates outside of stores. They are scammers. Do not pay with Apple Pay. DM me if you have any information on these guys. I don't be trying to knock nobody getting their money. Because I was young at one point, and I got pieces at one point. I wasn't doing no like this, because this is crazy. But you're going to scam the wrong person one day and end up on the news. Sometimes you do it to somebody from across the country that would never see your face. But there are times when you do it too close to home. And when you do it too close to home, you're putting yourself in danger, you're putting your friends in danger, you're putting your family in danger. Me and Kevin Gates have been corresponding for about a year now. This woman thinks she's in a relationship with Kevin Gates. First message looked like, thank you, my number one fan. Without fans like you, I'm nothing. But Kevin Gates needs money from her? I probably given him maybe like 5000 6000 Jerlisa has sent thousands of dollars to help her favorite rapper stay out of jail. I'm still his number one fan. <laughs> Adore his music. She's reached out to us to find out if this is her dream man or just another romance scammer. So it would be nice for him to be who he say he is. That would be lovely. I really need to know who I'm talking to. Ain't no way you following Kevin Gates and you ain't following his wife. If he was in problems like that, why would he be asking you? Yo, y'all foul. I know that I look crazy and it's so embarrassing to come crying on the internet. But 
this stuff that I have been dealing with for two years because of my freaking teeth is like I don't even know what to do anymore and like the only place I can really go to Charge your teeth. is my platforms as everybody pretty much knows two years ago I had um dental work done at Smile Dental Center 32 in Miami and it ruined my life like literally she gave the name the address boy she snitching it ruined my life <laughs> And I'm still dealing with it to this day. And I just left another doctor, another TMJ doctor. This is the third or fourth one that I've gone to. And I'm just very overwhelmed. Like, What's wrong with your teeth? The medical industry, the dental industry in America is like, they literally do. Hello? Hey. What's up, wife? Not much. You still recording? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm here. I'm about to get started on my client. I'm just waiting for her to get comfortable. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I just wanted to hear your voice before I get started, but I'll let you go. I do. All right. Love you. Love you, too. Okay, bye. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So, what, what's wrong with her teeth? I just want to know what's wrong with her teeth do not care about what you are going through. Like, everything is about money for them. Yes. And, like, I understand, like, people have to get paid, but it's, like, the fact that, like, I can't, I can't do anything. Like, I can't use insurance. I can't do anything. I've already spent $80,000, pretty much, on this whole situation in two years. And I go to another TMJ doctor because I have severe TMJ now because of the veneers that smile dental center did they 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 lost my bite i have severe tmj i got my t3 done it it didn't fix it that was another thirty thousand dollars it's just like i just had an appointment and like you know they're telling me like okay we could do this we could do this and it you know it could it could be a big money pit and you know it could be you know another 80k and another you know, 80k like what the i spent so much money with so many doctors just praying that something works for me and nothing works nothing ever works i don't know what to do anymore like i can't even sue the freaking dentist every every time i come on here telling my story about what happened which is a crazy ass story i'm like just sue why don't you sue if i could sue that would be the first thing i'm i'm doing but i can't do that i can't do that it's why just can't you sue like can't sue for my sensory issues my sensory issues are unknown every time i go to a doctor they've never heard of it Damn. and you can't prove that they gave you these issues because there's no way to diagnose it specifically like it's just a whole thing they offered to give me my money back within the first year and i told them no so that i could bring awareness because like People are just, like, you know, out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be. Like, my life is literally ruined because I got my teeth redone. Like. Hold on, bro. All right. She's saying TMJ. I, I'm trying to figure out what the hell TMJ is. I was trying to hold out. Temper. Ooh, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I'm going to just say joint deficiency. Y'all go ahead and Google it. Mm-mm. I ain't gonna do that to myself. It's a joint dysfunction, usually self-diagnosable. Jaw pain, difficulty chewing, and clicking and locking of the jaw joints are some of the symptoms. Oh man, yeah, okay, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Okay, so now, now that we know where you at, let's go ahead and listen. I'm not even joking, like, my, I'm constantly in pain. I can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day. 24 7 pretty much to even close my mouth comfortably no bite adjustments can fix it nothing i've done 100 bite adjustments i've gone to 10 different dentists four different tmj doctors i've done integrative medicine i've done acupuncture i've done everything you could possibly i've done hypnosis i've literally done everything you could possibly do to try to fix these issues i've been called crazy by my primary care doctor at kaiser they told me to see a therapist because I'm what I'm going through. 
at this point, like, I just don't know what to do. I'm in severe pain. I've gotten freaking mastered or Botox twice. My fucking face is slim the fuck out. Like, I look crazy as fuck because I'm in pain 24-7. It's just... I guess my only thing is just don't get fucking veneers and know that, like, something like this can ruin your life, like, literally. And quite frankly, I'm not giving nobody else 80 fucking bands. Like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, the fact that these people are so, like just everything is so money driven and like i understand but it's like this shit is like really medical for me like why does nobody care about people in chronic pain without you having to spend 80 bands twice like that's crazy as f to me that last part definitely got me um i'm sorry you're going through what you're going through it's crazy because i was thinking of getting veneers even that old white i got a white in my joints up a little bit you feel me so I was thinking of either getting teeth whitening or getting veneers. This right here might push me um, to get my teeth whitened.